Intel Corporation had a massive red day, down 26% today alone. More if you measure from the high a couple weeks ago. They had earnings today. They're laying off 15,000 people. They're cutting the dividend. But I want to cover how I still think that over the next five years, it could be in the triple digits. And also, I want to cover how we're not out of the woods yet. It could probably potentially still go to $10. Let me show you why. First, here are some of today's headlines. As you can see, 15,000 employees laying off. Worst performance in 50 years. And they're talking about restructuring. Intel execs admit they were caught off guard by business downturn. I track the earnings on Intel from Seeking Alpha. These are multiple analysts and the 2024 number has come down a lot. It was over a dollar and now it's 26 cents. That number could still go lower because these numbers are dynamic. Analysts could still bring them down. It's now August, so we don't know what that number is going to end up being, but it's going to be bad. I'm looking at the forward expectations and the earning power of the company. And the furthest they have now is 2027. And analysts believe Intel could earn $2.65 in the future. So if you're going off something that far out and you look at the PE, it's a 10 PE way in the future. Either way, it's earnings growth. A lot of earnings growth if you're going off of the 026 for 2024. If you traded Intel based on the current PE alone, that would be misleading because 111 PE is what we're looking at for 2024, which is ridiculous. It looks very expensive, but we want to look at the earning power over multi years. Going off of that 2027 number, if we grow the $2.65, let's say by 30%, let's say it's the company's growing on all cylinders, we can we could see something in the three and four dollars EPS range. And that's how we get a rosy potential high price over $100, over $200, and as high as maybe $270 if we take twice the growth rate, so 30% growth rate, you multiply that by two, we could see a 60 PE on a healthy, optimistic Intel. Intel is falling behind Nvidia and AMD, but they are in the game. They are trying to catch up and they are a domestic US foundry. They make their own chips. NVIDIA and AMD, they don't. They depend on Taiwan semiconductors. So there is a place for Intel to become competitive if the geopolitics get even hotter. I could see a, a time where Intel becomes a gainer of market share or just even if it's behind NVIDIA and AMD, it could still have a place for domestic chip production. Plus, they're benefiting from the CHIPS Act. They're getting a lot of funding. So that's why I, I do believe Intel can become competitive over many years. So now that I've created a rosy potential value in five years or maybe more, I'm just going to make a box. If it gets a 30 multiple, it might be worth over 100. If it gets a higher multiple, let's just make believe and fantasize. It could go to a 60 PE and might go in the high 200s, almost $300. That's if things start going well. Now we might be going into a recession, so it won't be easy going forward. Let's look at the extreme downside. If we look here at TradingView's earnings yield figure, the earnings yield on this stock is now only 1%. So 2024 is not looking very good low earnings yield and if investors were buying this stock for the dividend alone which is getting cut in the next quarter in the fourth fourth quarter 
then that would be bad and a lot of funds may have to sell this stock because the dividend is no longer there. If that happens, there could be a lot of selling or a lot of people that have to get out of the stock. So that could lead to continued selling going forward. There is a potential bearish pattern, but we're going to ignore that for now. Worst case, what are we looking at? Now I'm going to add tangible book value that that yellow line is what's hard assets, relatively liquid assets, real stuff, no goodwill. And that's at $19. So I don't believe there's a lot of downside below $19, but this could trade below that depending on how the economy is doing. If it's a really hard recession, if we are going into recession, yeah, it will go down there. I don't know. There's no way for me to know. And then where's the extreme last in, last time we were beaten up last recession, 2008, 2009, it went to a $10 level, even as low as uh, sevens. So can it get down there? Potentially. So I'm going to put that on, on there on the chart. However, <clears throat> there would be a lot of value in this stock if the price went below tangible book value. There is a potential that we go to $10. I have to put that out there. If the bear pattern plays out, I'll just draw it out. It it implies we could see something like 10 11 dollars so if i am an intel investor i would be a, i would keep that in mind and be prepared to dollar cost average into a position whatever i wanted to hold but after a big drop like this it starts to become far more attractive than when it was at twice the price the stock was at 50 dollars not too long ago it's now in the 20s so that's what I got in summary. I don't know how low they can take it. The lower they take it, the better for me because I do believe Intel will have a place in the marketplace. It might be over $100 to $300. So from $20 and below, this becomes an attractive investment opportunity. I don't think they will go away. They still have cash, a manageable amount of debt, and the government is lending to them, supporting them so we can have domestic chip production. And this is my thesis, my analysis. And why don't you let me know what you think if you agree or disagree. Cheers.